Hello dear chess friends, welcome to our new video. Uh, thanks for following our videos and uh, thanks for uh, helping us to go better and better. Uh, as usual we continue with uh, following the World Championship match uh, held in Dubai uh, where Magnus Carlsen tries to hold the title. Uh, of course the challenger is Janne Pomiesci and uh, today uh, we will analyze the game number five, the fifth game out of 14. Of course, we can expect that every single next game will be uh, maybe even more boring and more boring, or maybe let's say with uh, less and less taken risk. Uh, in that game, Janne Pomenshi ha uh, had a uh, small but lasting initiative, and finally he uh, just wasn't uh, able to, to convert. Let's see what happened in the game. Jan opened the game with e4 and Magnus reacted with e5. After usual natural moves, instead of Berlin, Magnus went for a6. And after bishop a4, knight f6, castling bishop e7, rook e1, b5, bishop e3, casting once again anti martial move. One anti martial move is h3, another is a4, which was played in that game. Uh, instead of c3, of course, which can lead to marshal after d5. So a4 was played, and rook b8. And, of course, white takes. Now white got something from the opening, but that is, of course, not a big deal. That is a file. Of course, still a lot of pieces are on the board, and infiltrating rooks, infiltrating that rook is not possible. And even if possible, that would just bring nothing to white. What I want to say here, that is that white played normal moves h3 and c3 i would prefer other move order but doesn't matter b4 now black in return wants to open file for his rook he gives to white spot c4 but uh it is difficult if white can use that properly white tries with d3 taking taking now idea will be to transfer knight but black reacts with d5 very well prepared openings. So after ED, knight e5, we can see that knight e5 actually fails because after knight e5, rook takes e5, black has bishop e6 with some tricks like knight c3 or maybe bishop f6 with taking the pawn and black will have the initiative. So that wouldn't be good for white and that's the reason white after d5 reacted with knight bd2. Call move. Well, white wants just to use his main advantage here, not a serious one, but still that is white main advantage, and that is presence of pawn c3 against knight on c6. Some reversed Hanum structure, you know Hanum variation from Philidor, where, where pawn c6, black pawn c6 restricts white knight on c3. Now that is some kind of reversed Hanum, and you can see that white pawn on c3 restricts black knight. But that is not a big deal. There are not so many pawn units on the board and it's very difficult for white to prove that there is anything serious. Bishop d6, very patient and stable move. Simply black defends the pawn and he wants just to regroup with that knight, probably using the road uh, knight e7 and g 6 After queen c2, h6, knight f1, white uses the normal road for that knight. There is nothing wrong with knight c4, but perhaps white didn't want to allow black bishop e6 where that can be some annoying pin so knight f1 clear move knight e7 knight g3 knight g6 and we can see that that opening is just prelude to making a draw uh queen e8 black wants maybe to set queen on c6 or just to remove it from the file for some reason even maybe to play queen b5 of course rook e d1 bishop e6 that is another idea of move queen e8. Black wants to neutralize that annoying pressure by exchanging that bishop and after that definitely that bishops are exchanged sooner or later. White decided to go for trading queens with idea to use that good spot c4 and that good spot f5 for his cavalry. Uh, simply by installing knights there and playing f3 white will have lasting initiative but of course that will be very difficult to convert because you know there are not so many pawn units remaining on the board rook a8 and after rook d1 taking taking black goes for controlling the another 
open file. That is good strategy. If you cannot oppose to your opponent on some open file, the good idea is to get control over some another open file or maybe even to create some open file for your rook. So rook b8 was played, rook a6. Idea is to fix that pawn on c7 and maybe to act as submarine as you can see on that sixth rank, maybe with some tactical shots. Knight e8, black goes for regrouping, king f1. First uh, thing white wants to do is centralization of the king, of course. Knight f8, knight f5, and after knight e6, white played knight c4. So white knights are on best spots, but still there is nothing concrete. Bishop d8 is, let's say, stable. Rook d8, bishop d6 is, let's say, stable after rook d8, yeah. f3, defending pawn, setting pawns on light. So maybe if black in any moments play bishop c5, white is able to keep that bishop because pawn f2 will not, will not be under attack in some deeper endgame, who knows f6 but idea also can be g4 white has idea of h4 and h5 to fix black pawns on dark squares that's why white played a g4 first to prevent black's move h5 now white will just of course take it after bishop f8 king e2 knight d6 knight c takes bishop takes and h5 white achieved a lot and still there is nothing black position is so stable of course black must stay refrained from moving knight because white will just immediately take that knight with bishop and significantly increase his advantage. Uh, after bishop f8, black opens the file, preventing maybe activation of white king. And after rook a5, black is just ready to wait. White offers exchanging the rooks, but black at this moment keeps rooks on the board. White moves back, but after that, finally, there is some repetition. And black didn't want to go for unpleasant endgame. There will be significant advantage for white if rooks are exchanged. White will play with ri without risk and would be able to improve for a long time. But still, that should be dead draw. But definitely, uh, black has maybe, let's say, more active rook. And idea of Magnus Carlsen to keep rooks on the board is maybe even more methodical. So, not a lot of fire in that game. And all of us hope that uh, there will be some fire on the board in next games but you know i think we that will be just logic there it will be just logical to expect that uh, next game would be more and more boring because players definitely want to uh, reduce risk what to say thanks again you follow us and see you soon with new games and new examples bye bye